Hi, and welcome to Providian Medical's Chison Sonobook 9 Ultrasound Training. Let's get started. We're pressing the power button right up in this upper left-hand corner. Hold it for a moment, and the keyboard will light up, and you'll hear it start up. While it's doing that, uh, we'll just go ahead and connect the probe. The uh, cable faces forward. Slide it in so it's secure, and then pull up on this locking mechanism back here. Make sure it's secure and that it's even. If it's crooked, you don't want to pull up on that uh, locking mechanism just yet. While it's booting, we'll go around and uh, take a look at the keyboard. This first section will just be a quick tour of the keyboard, and we'll get into much more detail as we move on. But this is an important part of the training as it gives you an idea of the different features um, and the layout of the system. So we'll just start where your hand will go most. The whole keyboard and the whole user interface is really designed around your hand. The most used functions uh, during an exam, they'll try and put right in this area or closer to where you would be uh, scanning. Like if your hand's away on the patient, it'll make things nice and convenient right here for saving and zooming, adjusting the gain, the depth, and the frequency. And then as you move over here, taking measurements where you actually won't be using the probe and scanning. And a lot of these are for beginning and the end of the exam. And of course, you have a full section of keyboard. So over here, we have our exam function group where you have your patient information, probe. These are for 4D only. This 4D and live, those will only apply to 4D imaging. Your report uh, for comments or annotations, body mark, archive, so you can see the images or go to um, the patient archive where you see all the patients you've done and take a look at images. Uh, you have two print functions here. A P1, which is a programmable print button. This knob here is a multi-function knob. You can push it down and switch between menu and angle, and it will, of course, change depending on what mode you're in. If the angle doesn't apply, it often means you would use this to spin and change the parameter. So you can push, go here. If you're stuck there, just you can exit. Imaging modes all the way around here, and mode CW, Doppler, pulse wave Doppler, tissue Doppler, color, Color Power Angio, also known as Power Doppler, and B Mode, also known as 2D. This Z, Y, and X, those are strictly for 4D imaging. They don't apply in any other mode. Of course, you have your trackball here. Update will apply to multiple functions, uh, making PW Doppler live and sometimes making some measurements that allow you to change uh, the width of an ellipse or maybe the placement of the cursor. Um, cursor, whenever you want to get the arrow on screen, just push it and go on and you'll use that to select various things around the keyboard or images down there. Uh, delete, this will delete comments or arrows or measurements on the screen. Distance for a simple distance measurement, trace, simple trace. Calc for the full calc package for each package. Right now it's in a vessel package but you also have for OBGYN, cardiac, etc. Enter. This will submit, you know, an annotation. You'll use it for a large number of things. It would be almost like a left click on a computer. Uh, you use it quite often. Change your frequency of your transducer. Change the depth. You have your gain here and automatic image optimization at the press of a button. Uh, going up, you have your freeze, save. This is a full screen or dual screen here. We can go to dual screen. You want to go back to full screen. You go here. That also works in 4D mode. Zoom to get your zoom box. And again, we'll go over all of this in more detail um, when we get later into the training. So here we have a full screen option. You can go to full screen. X contrast is an image optimization. This is for tissue harmonics imaging here. Of course, your TGCs, generally you want those towards the middle and going up as you go out there. And across the top, we have uh, end exam, body marker, arrow, comments. Some of these are repeated, clear. Uh, your biopsy, single, dual, and quad screen. So you can choose this to go to quad screen. But of course, this single and dual are also right here. Speaker volume. And then these may be programmable keys for the future, but at this time, they don't really do anything. Uh, this tool, this wrench here, takes you to the system setup, which we'll get into much later in the system. Exit to get out of a screen. Go back to full screen here. Uh, then Alt Q beam and Q flow are image optimizations. 
and change is uh, used in various items such as changing your calc package. And along the bottom here we have our network status. We can take this, go to the cursor and hover it over. It says network information, USB if you have a USB uh, plugged in. This just says driver and what this actually is is it tells you how much space is left on your hard drive. Um, it has two uh, sections hard drive here, one for patient, one for system settings and operation system. If you have a USB, it will tell you about that here, about how much is free uh, and the total size of that USB drive. This is your battery indicator. It says that the adapter is connected, but when it's not, it will tell you how much battery life is left. Your task manager, this will show you your DICOM queue when you send something in DICOM if you're part of that. And here you can click on your printer setup and choose your default printers, add or delete printers, etc. Along the bottom here we have something called soft keys and I'll refer to these a lot during training. These things change each thing that you go into. So when I freeze it automatically goes to my Cine menu where I can play, I can change the speed of that, set a start position and set an end position and then you know save that portion of the Cine loop. Um, reset range. Long bottom here, this right here, if I save an image, will be my thumbnail. And I can, as I showed before, uh, I can click on that and it will pull up up here. But if there are multiple pages of thumbnails for this exam, I can click here and go forward and back. This will also let me save it to a disk, USB. Um, I can go to the, multi the screen that will show me many, or I can just go ahead and delete that. Across the top, we'll have the, obviously, manufacturer name, patient ID. The patient name will go here, your facility name, the application that you're in, mechanical and thermal indices, the probe name, date, time. And these are the parameters that show you your frequency, frames per second, uh, dynamic range and persistence, gain, acoustic power, the depth, and what your setting is for your X contrast. And next we'll get into imaging and image optimization with the Chaison Sono Book 9.